A great way to grow your email list so that you can sell your products and services is by spending money on advertising. But what if I told you that there was a way that you could spend money on advertising to get people to subscribe to your email list, but in the process, you sell your products to the point where you cover your advertising costs. If that sounds interesting, then definitely watch this video where I discuss WordPress sales funnels and how they can help you do just that. On my screen is what we're going to be creating in today's video. And on this opt-in page, you have what is called a lead magnet, which is where you give something away for free in exchange for somebody subscribing to your mailing list. In the example today, our lead magnet, we have an expert revealing the correct order to apply makeup in a short five minute video. And to get access, people need to click here, enter their details here, and then click to access the tutorial. They land on this page here, they get access to the video from the expert, and in the background, they're being subscribed to our email list so we can email them at a later date. So once people go through and watch the video and you deliver the lead magnet, down here, let's just say in that video, the expert is using our products that we sell in our store. We could actually take one of those products and put it on sale for a limited time only. And because the video up here convinced the user that the product works, and it's something they might want to buy, down here it's a related offer, why not give them the ability to buy that product, we make a little bit of revenue and that can help us offset the money we're spending on advertising, that's the idea here. So from here, if we click to claim this deal, we then take our customers to a sales page and here we have a whole page to explain the benefits of that product and just give the customer a bit more information as to why they should purchase this today. When they're ready, they could click buy now and they'd be taken to a checkout page where the product would be automatically added into their cart and they just go through the different steps of your checkout form. Eventually, they'd have the ability to add your in checkout upsell known as an order bump. I'll show you how to set that up. And when they're ready, they could click to place their order. At this point, you've charged their payment method and they enter your upselling process. With the plugin that we're going to be using today called Funnel Kit, if we go to Funnel Kit and Funnels and then click into our WordPress sales funnel, you can see that these are all the different steps that we're going through. But what's really powerful about the Funnel Kit plugin is the new Canvas mode, which was just released in the latest version. So Canvas mode gives you a really good overview of what's happening in your funnel in a visual representation. So you can see that when people enter our funnel, they land on our opt-in page where we have the lead magnet. Then when they put in their email address, they get taken to our thank you page, which delivers the video of our lead magnet and has the button that clicks through to the sales page. And then from there, they can go to the checkout page and they can add that in checkout upsell, the order bump to their order. And then once they complete the checkout page, they enter the upselling process where they see our first upsell offer, which is the Eye Enhancer bundle deal. So this is currently where we are within that sales funnel. You can also create your entire sales funnel from within here. So if I was to click the plus sign here, I could add a new step into my funnel. So if I was to add a sales page funnel step, I could get into that wizard. Now in today's video, we're gonna create our entire sales funnel using the canvas mode. And I think it's really going to impress you with what it can do. But coming down to where we currently are with our test purchase, you can see that if I accept this first upsell offer, then we'll go down the accept path and we go directly to the thank you page. However, if I come up and I was to reject the Eye Enhancer bundle deal, then we'd go down this path, we would actually see a second offer, and then we go through to the thank you page. So back here, I will say no and reject that offer, and we see the second offer, where we could choose our variant and then add that into our order. We charge the customer's payment method a second time, and from here, we reach the final destination, which is the thank you page, the last step in our funnel. And at this point, we've made this much revenue. We spent money on advertising today. We've made money back in this order today. If you can get this system to work with the right offers and the right pricing and a lead magnet that has a high conversion rate, this is really going to ease the burden of advertising costs within your business. And as I said at the start of today's video, it's going to help you grow your business and your email list really fast. So with that done, let me show you how to set all of this up from scratch. The glue of this whole system is the Funnel Kit Funnel Builder plugin. There is the free version of Funnel Kit Funnel Builder, so I definitely recommend heading on over to the plugins page, reading the description, watching the videos there. You'll even see a couple from yours truly on the page. 
But then scrolling down, you can get an idea of what you get in the free version versus the pro version. To install that plugin, go to plugins and then add new plugin, search for funnel kit funnel builder and install and activate this first option here. Funnel Builder for WordPress by Funnel Kit. In today's video, we will be building funnels using some of the paid features. So I have the pro version currently installed in this WordPress website. So let's create our first sales funnel by going to Funnel Kit and then Funnels and clicking Create New Funnel. Up the top here, you can see there's two different types of funnels that you can create for your business. The first one is a sales funnel, which is targeted at selling something to your customers where you take payment. And then you have lead funnels, which are aimed at helping you grow your email list to sell to people later on. And as you saw at the start of today's video, we're going to be having a combination of these two types of funnels in one funnel. But we will start with a lead funnel to offer our lead magnet and we'll add our sales funnel later on. But it's very straightforward to set up here. You select your page builder. So today I'm going to use Elementor. You could start with a blank page and build it up from scratch in your builder. If you have other funnels here, you could clone from an existing one. Today, I'm just going to start with a out of the box template here. So I'm going to go ahead and click to preview this one. So this is what the opt-in page looks like here. And obviously you could customize this inside of the builder. And you'll notice that that's the first step here where we collect their email address. And the second step is the opt-in confirmation page where we confirm the action that they took has been successful. And here's also a great place to specify the next action that you want your lead to take. Coming back to our opt-in page, you can output your opt-in form as an inline form where the form fields are on the page with a submit button, or alternatively, you could add it as a pop-up where your lead would click a button and then add their details here inside of a pop-up. Using the pop-up form in this example, I'll click import this funnel. I'll give my funnel an appropriate name and I'll click done. Then I'll click into my opt-in page and edit it using Elementor. I've just quickly updated the content here so we have something to work with and we're incentivizing them to get access to this by giving us their email address. And while we're here, let's edit this button text here by going to the form and just updating that so it makes a little bit more sense. I'll exit out of this. I'll also update this button text to say, watch the tutorial and then click update. I'll then return to our lead funnel and go to our opt-in confirmation page and click edit. And I'll update this page with the appropriate content like so. And I'll go down and click update. If we go up and then click preview, let's test our opt-in funnel. So here we'll go watch the tutorial. I'll put in my details and click access the tutorial. And I land on that page where I get to view the video. With our lead magnet now set up, let's now add the sales side of our funnel. So all we need to do here is just continue to add steps into our funnel. So to do that, let's head on over to canvas mode and scrolling down after our opt-in confirmation page, let's click the plus sign here and add a sales page. I'll give it an appropriate name and click add. Next, I'll click the pencil icon to edit the page. I'm gonna preview the Utopia template. I really like this, so I'll go ahead and click import this template. And under the design tab, I will click to edit the template. I'll update the content and click update. I'll click back into our funnel and then I'll click to edit the opt-in confirmation page. We'll edit the template in Elementor and scrolling down the bottom, let's say hypothetically that in this video, she recommends a specific set of products, one of which is our mascara. Under here, we could add a new section and it could say something like limited time only, get our expert recommended mascara for 50% off, a photo, and then a button. To link this button to the sales page, we can go back to our funnel and then down here, we could click to edit our sales page and then copy the URL of this sales page to our clipboard. On this button for the link, I will paste and then click update. And now people can get our lead magnet, watch our video, be sold on the idea of buying our product, see this exclusive deal and click to go to our sales page where we explain in detail the benefits of this particular product and why our customers should purchase it. I'm not gonna design this whole page obviously today, but you get the idea of just how powerful this can be when set up correctly. With our sales page set up, let's go ahead and add a checkout page. So I'll click add step and I'll select checkout. I'll give it a name and click add. And you'll notice we have a few notifications here. It's letting us know we have no products added to our checkout page and we have no order bumps. Both things we want to do. 
So let's go ahead and edit our checkout page by clicking the pencil icon. And under the design tab, with our page builder selected, if I scroll down, we have a Utopia checkout page design that matches our sales page. I'll click preview. And as you can see, the checkout page looks really nice and modern. So the next thing to do is choose whether or not we want a one-step, two-step, or three-step multi-step checkout form. I'll go with three-step for today's example. So I'll go up here and click import this template. And then under the products tab, let's add a product, search WooCommerce for our mascara product, select it, and click add. We're giving 50% off the regular price which from $30 makes it $15, which matches our sales page. And I'll click save. Under the optimizations tab, this is where you can enable things to make checking out from your website faster and easier for your users. So you can enable your express payment options like Apple Pay and Google Pay, and a lot of other useful ones, for example, Google Address Autocomplete. Heading onto the design tab, this is where we can customize the checkout form. So you have the form filled that sit inside sections, inside the different steps in your multi-step checkout. You can also create your own custom form fields over here without needing an additional plugin. Coming back to step one, I will go ahead and customize this a little bit because we are selling a physical product. I'll rename this first section and name it customer information. And we'll leave these fields here, but we will go ahead and add the phone field in there. I'll remove the plans section of the form and I'll click to add a new section. I'll name it shipping address and click add. Here we'll add the shipping address and also the billing address. Then let's go to step two and I'll edit this section to say shipping method and then we'll drag shipping method into that section. And then the third and final step is where we take their payment information. I'll go ahead and save this. Next, we'll scroll up and then we'll click to edit our checkout page, customize the content to match our offer and click update. Now let's add an upsell to our checkout page, also known as an order bump. So under our checkout page step, I'll click add order bump, and we could create one from scratch, but I'm gonna show you what happens when you clone an existing one. So I'll click clone existing, and then here I'm gonna see a list of all the different order bumps I have across all the different checkout pages on my website. Today I'm going to add the option for faster processing, so I'll select this order bump and click add, and then let's go and edit our order bump. And just like that, by cloning an existing order bump, we have this order bump ready to go inside of this sales funnel. So we're currently under the design tab under content. If we go to style, we can change where we output our order bump on our checkout page. For now, I'm gonna leave it as output below the payment gateways. And if we head on over to products, you can see our WooCommerce product for faster shipping has been added here already, again, with that clone feature. So that order bump's ready to go. If we go back to our sales funnel and scroll down, and let's start creating our upsells. So I'll click to add a step, and I'll select one click upsell offer. I'll name this group of offers one click upsells and click add. And now we have our one click upsells step, and inside there we have our first offer. I'll click to edit our first offer. I'll rename it to the name of the product we'll be upselling, which is the Eye Enhancer Bundle Deal. And if we scroll down, we have a Utopia design for our upsell page. I'll click to import this template. Under the design tab, you'd click to customize your design for this offer. I'm not gonna do that here because I think you get the idea of how it works, but we need to go to the products tab and add a product for our one-click upsell. So this is for the Eye Enhancer Bundle Deal which is this product here, so I'll click add. And let's say we're giving 30% off the regular price, normally $100, now 70. I'll click save. And now that we have our first offer there, let's add our second offer. But we only wanna show it in this example today if they reject this first offer. So over here in the reject side, let's click to add an offer. We'll give it the name of our product and click add. With the logic now set up and the offer added, let's click to edit our second offer. And I'll just show you another upsell template here. So I'll click to preview this one, which looks like this. It's very nice, modern, and clean. I'll click import this template. As expected, we could customize the design, but for now I'll go to the products tab and I'll click to add the product we want to upsell here, which is going to be the eyelash curler. So I'll select it and click add. Let's give 15% off here. And you'll notice that if I expand this, this is a variable product. So let's add both of these variants to this upsell. And now if we save this and preview the offer on the front end, 
When our customers are going through the upsell process, they can choose their variant and then add it to their order. Let's go back into our funnel. And now the final step that we need to add at the bottom of our funnel is going to be our thank you page. So I'll click to add a step and I'll select thank you. I'll give it a name and click add. Now let's edit our thank you page, choose a design, I'll choose a utopia, and I'll click import this template. If we preview our thank you page, this template out of the box is exactly what I want for this page. With no changes needing to be made here, let's return to our funnel. And that's it, our lead generation funnel that converts people into buyers is now complete. Let's do a final walkthrough of this funnel. The features that you've seen in today's video are just some of the many powerful features included with Funnel Kit. I showed you that you can design high converting checkout pages, easily add one click upsells to boost your average order value, but there's just so much more that it does. I definitely recommend heading on over to our pricing page to see our current deals. And if you want to continue learning about Funnel Kit, I'll put a video on the screen that you can watch right now. Yeah.